Shalom, brothers and sisters. We want to give all praise and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Uh, peace and blessings being bound unto you throughout the four corners of the earth. Uh, today we're going to go over a lesson concerning, you know, um, Yahweh Shai, uh, the gospel. Um, just kind of just going over different accounts and examples of, uh, of how the gospel was being preached. Um, to show you the simplicity of the gospel. You know, to show you that this is something that is not something that is, should be hard to understand. So, right. Go ahead. This is St. John chapter 3, verse 3. Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh Shah answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Yeah, so this right here is basically him showing and telling uh, Nicodemus how one will enter into the kingdom. He gave him very simple ways in which someone would, would do it, you know, at least the entry point. He, so, because what he said was a definitive said, it cannot enter. Mm -hmm. That means if without those two things, there is no entrance into the kingdom. Right. Okay, and um, if you go into the gospel accounts at this particular point, Yahweh Shah had already been baptized and received of the, uh, the Spirit from the Father. Okay, so when you go into the other accounts where he was baptized in water and received the Holy Spirit, he was showing you as the first of many brethren the way in which one will enter into the kingdom. That's right. That is the beginning point. If you don't do it, anything else you're talking about is going to be nullified. Because mm -hmm. you got guys talking about the chip, the chip, the chip, the chip. Listen, we, you know, guys got offended because we don't talk about the, the RFID chip enough, the market right. abuse. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Even if, if, if we're going to ask you one question. If one doesn't believe in this, uh, believe in this book, as y'all say, is 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 the, is the way of baptism to preach the word. If they don't take the chip, do they enter into the kingdom? <laughs> right. Right? No. The scripture said, why was John baptizing near Adon? Why, no, I'm, I'm asking, why was John baptizing near Adon? Because there was a lot of water. A lot of people preaching the word there. <laughs> no, because there was a lot of water. <laughs> That's what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's simple, man. Yeah. Simple. Water is water. What are you talking about? It's water. Yeah. yeah, you got to determine whether people will say that we change the doctrine, but you got to determine whether you were the change in the doctrine. That's right. right, right, right. Okay. And not only that, the, the, the scriptures, Yahweh Shah didn't just preach it, he gave examples, man. He, he, he was a living example. Yeah, he was a living example of it. That's right. And then the apostles were living examples. Then the people that they were doing were living examples. That's right. Cornelius is a living, was a living example. You say you're baptized if you can't name you baptized. Right. We can go through your house shadow account, we can tell you John the Baptist baptized. Right. Mm -hmm. We can go through Paul's account, we can say and and a nice and nice baptized. Mm -hmm. That's right. We can go through the, the Ethiopian unit, we can say Philip baptizing. Mm -hmm. That's right. So all these guys talking about baptizing, none of them guys is, that, that's talking about baptism is preaching of the word can tell you who well they can because they'll usually say it's their top elder or some other apostle that they call apostle. But that's not how it goes down. You know, not by faith coming by hearing the word, but the works of yeah, righteousness yeah. is through right, right. the baptism. That was the counsel of Yahweh. Yeah. Right. Because the what hooked someone in was the word someone preaching it. That's mm -hmm. right. And telling them the telling them the words of the gospel. You know, words of right. eternal life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the act of righteousness, one of the acts of righteousness is Baptism. Yeah. So if, 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 if in the name of Yahweh Shah, we, we want to quantify that so you don't get simple. If, if understanding these scriptures and and doing the word, what what, what this book say is baptism. It'll take some people three, four years to get baptized, man. Right? Shoot, uh, according to some people, man, they got it. Some of their own elders had to add some uh, 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 a third part to complete their trinity in order to be baptized. Right. Yeah, so that means the guys that were before them. See, that's the conundrum. We're telling you about the way of in which one is to receive eternal life through baptism in the name of Yahweh.
all the shots for the original sins. Right. But the crazy thing about it is that you had elders, that y'all called elders, that had already passed that didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Then when you add on that you had to say the name, yeah, the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, well what's the name of the Holy Spirit? What's That's the name of the Holy right. Spirit? Now the guys you called elders above you, they didn't just say that, nor anybody say that to them. Uh, so they didn't even get baptized. They didn't get baptized. According to your own doctrine. Come on, man. Because no one told them about Baha'i Shim or Pak mm. So what we're telling you guys, we're not out here to, to be uh, antagonists. We're out here, uh, uh, are we have become your enemy because we tell you the truth? That's right. Right, right, right. Because we right. tell you the truth, we tell you that your elder don't got, don't, doesn't have the right answer. We're not saying that to be uh, boastful and proud. We're saying that as a matter of truth. You're winging mm. it, man. Your boy, yeah, your boy's ringing it, man. When your man said he was 33 years in the game, and he just told you about how Shimmer Kwok Badash and guys before him in the mm -hmm. past. What do you say about that? Come on, man. He's, he's, he's basically witnessing against himself right. at that point. He told you he was a, vet, a veteran. He was an OG, a veterinario in the game of preaching the gospel, and he's now adding something new that was supposed to be a vital, important thing to enter into the kingdom. According to y'all, doctor. Woo! That's right. right. There's a problem with that, man. Things ain't right. adding up, man. Yeah. In order to put off that old man and, and take up the new man, you have to be baptized in water. Mm. Point blank. Yeah, in the name of Yahweh Shah. In the name of Yahweh Shah. For the remission of sins. That's it. That's what the scriptures, that's what the scriptures state. That's what the scriptures say. Right. Mm. You know, not us. Right. That's right. Us, you know, yeah. we, you know, our defense is not our own words. Yeah, that's it's right. The words, it's the words that's in this in these books, the same ones that y'all say y'all read. Yeah, that's a, it's like when Paul, right after Paul got baptized, it said that he increased in strength, and he confounded the Jews, man. He confounded those Jews, man. In uh, Acts nine and uh, twenty-two, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, Acts nine and twenty-two. He said he increased in strength. So. You know, this this knowledge, man, you know, you looking at, you know, we don't have 33 years in this game like that, you know, right. but uh, but when you get baptized, man, that Holy Spirit will give you that, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you need. Baptized to, means yeah. submerged, man, mm -hmm. underwater, All right. submerged in water, period. Yeah. There's no other meaning. Yeah, because it, it gives you the unction, man. Right. The unction comes from above, man. It doesn't come from carnal, because it, it comes from beneath. It doesn't yeah. come from 30 years of experience. 30 yeah. years of experience is not causing unction. An unction is already given. Right, right, right. right. As you, you're, meaning that you already have a predisposition to, to that knowledge right. of the truth. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. You're, you have a, a, an anointing that's already on you that you're predisposed to, to, to grab hold of things that are true. And see, brothers are trying to come in uh, strictly through works. And right. you ain't gonna better just do that through works, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's, that's what's happening, because I've seen a video of a guy um, in one of those camps where he was getting on guys about basically works-related stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, we understand that the, um, you want to teach, you want to be actively teaching in the mode of actively learning. It tells you, you know, uh, Paul was telling Timothy, he says, he told him to give heed to reading of the scriptures and doctrine. Mm -hmm. You know, he told him to give heed of that. Also, what? To teach and be ready in season, out of season. Those are things that you will have to be ready for and be adding onto your knowledge spiritually. You know? Don't so, yeah. Like that so many of us that were baptized unto your house child was baptized unto his death. Now, fit that in with their definition of baptism. It don't work. But oh. not. That's a cold cut. Because that means the guys that didn't get the Bahashim or Quark they wasn't baptized unto his death. Yeah. Woo! Oh my goodness, man. Hey man, didn't oh. didn't we have a uh, a cat come up on our, our <laughs> comment? <laughs> we had a cat that came up on our comment board. It, it told us and said, I'm in baptism right now. Well, were you really in baptism? Because you didn't have the Quark at, at that, that time. time. At that time. That's right. So now, what is your baptism now, man? It's told how the Most High, according to them, is giving them partial information that's so vital and allowing other guys to die with that Right. You know? Yep. He allowed, he allowed all the Bibbins to pass and get uh, killed by some guys that was believing in Islam. Right. To not get the Rapaq Dodge. Keep it one deep, man. You say you was going to keep it one deep. Keep it one deep, man. Don't go too deep. 
you know, because you go too deep, you're going to drown, bro, yep, in that yeah. water. You see the gospel, man, you can't come against it, man. Right, that's right, man. The gospel yeah. powerful, man. Yeah. Once you start coming against it, man, that's why you have to start making adjustments, man. Yeah. It's like it's like when LeBron was out there getting on them raptures and dunking on them. You know, he was dunking on them, shooting them J's in the eye, you know? And then they tried to do an adjustment that he hit him with the fadeaway all of a sudden. He started hitting him with the fadeaways. They was like, damn, he didn't, you know? He'd have changed up on this. It's, it's like, man, you can't defend it. Because any way you try to attack the gospel, it got other counter moves against you. Right, right, right. right. You're in the trick bag, man. Yeah. You're automatically in the trick bag once you go against it. Mm -hmm. Said this before time and time again. Romans 6 don't apply to you guys if you haven't been baptized. Mm -hmm. Romans 6 do not apply to you. There's no way you can put off that old man yeah. if you haven't been baptized in the name of right. our shot in water. Yeah, you really can't even truly be battling with fresh first That's spirit. Right. Until you've been baptized because you didn't even receive the spirit yet. The battle flesh versus the spirit. Right. right. You're really just flesh. Flesh. Which 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 is the reason why a lot of lies in Israel have been made. Like we talk we talk about the resident evil. <laughs> you know, the, right. the, the, the you know? Right. The zombification, it continues to increase, man. You got different strains and levels. Like, you know, when you play Resident Evil 1. And two, and you go bomber, they got different levels of strains in it of them, different viruses. Right, because right. Because they might destroy one at the end of it, you done cured it. Then another outbreak come through, and it, the demon be stronger than the nice one. Mm. Yeah. You be like, damn. You no, know, this one's getting harder. Right, right. And that's what's happening, man. When guys, you know, it, it, it's it's such a tough thing to, to say, to realize that the stuff that you were learning wasn't right. Mm -hmm. And instead of just saying, man, this wasn't right information, guys would either go completely far left field or would hold on to what they were teaching just for the sake of saving face. Mm -hmm. right. Because a master teacher doesn't want to admit that what they were teaching already was wrong. Right, right. right. So you that's definitely... You, in that's, a, that's, yeah. that's in the portal side. Yeah. A master teacher is not going to admit that what they taught you was wrong. And then you got these... Uh, you get a church of Scientology. Right, yeah. right. They have their own doctor from the get-go. They didn't have so many followers. They can't tell them guys, look, they can't. They only can add to it. They can't take away. Right, right. right. That's why you, what they did, they had to add the Bahashim and Papa Dosh. Right. Because your guys is getting messed up over the fact that they were being confronted with an aspect of the gospel that they never heard before. And you knew your man was asking questions and was wondering what's going on. What is this guy, these guys saying about this baptism thing? And then your man had to come through and add something else on top of the doctor that he thought was going to satisfy y'all's desire to know the truth. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Put a Houdini on it, man. Now right. Houdini's inside the joint. You know, he bamboozled <laughs> bambo y'all. Man, that's a sad thing too, bro. And a lot of y'all went ran with it, man. Yep. Water baptism. Symbolic of being laid to rest. As when you go under the water, it's symbolic of being laid to rest as your hour shot was. And when you come up out of the water, it's, it's, it's you're coming up out of water as a new man, just like your hour shot was. Yeah. That's that's what it means. Yeah. That's the symbolism of it. And your and your past sins are forgiven. Right, right. Thus a new man. Yeah. You know? That's the counsel of Yahweh, man. That's right, and it's simple. Mm -hmm. it, it's no mystery to it, it's not hard. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. It's the difference between uh, baptism and sanctification, man. Right. You brothers don't understand the difference between baptism and sanctification. That's right. You know? Yeah. Because y'all, they, they can't even get to the pro you can't even get to the process of sanctification, which it's a word y'all don't even use anyway. Right. Show right. you y'all don't even know what it is. Right. Because the word sanctification should be part of y'all's vocabulary if y'all keep it at 1,000. Uh -huh. But it ain't a part of your vocabulary because you haven't yet been baptized in order to get the process. But they you use... can't go through a process of sanctification unless you started the, the initial process. But see, they use, they use that they use that Ephesians all the time and always using sanctification. Yeah. But no, don't even know what the word means. Right. Or don't apply it. Or, or, or even care not to know it. Or just blocked by the Spirit from getting it. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water 
by the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's talking about the church, which is already set aside. You can read up a little bit. Right. Read up a little bit for context. Verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands and everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as, as Hamashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, mm -hmm. but that it should be holy and without blemish. Mm. Yeah. So when you go into the uh, context of it, it's talking about being subject and then being going through the, through that subjugation of the word and following it, you become renewed and you become sanctified, meaning you become cleansed through your uh, your daily walk. Same thing with the man and his wife. Right. Mm -hmm. Man teaches his wife the right ways to operate, and she becomes better and better each That's day. Right. A process, man. It's a process. That's right. So it's it's a continual process. Baptism is an act. Sanctification is a process. It's a process. You can't, you know, if you can't get that, I don't know what to say, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's clearly an act, meaning singular. It's an event. You know, baptism is, is an event. It's an act. Nobody right. never can prove when was baptism done away with. Yeah. All the apostles did it all through Acts, the book of Acts. Yeah. Because it's an act. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, but... It never, it never stopped. Yep. They get to the point where they say, "Well, why I wasn't mentioned in Corinthians? Because we just know, bro. You know, it's, it's like it ain't, it ain't well, like it you." Was. He talked about baptizing yeah. Yeah. certain people when he first got to Corinthians, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and also whenever he talked about it, whenever the, uh, the forefathers yeah. was baptized yeah, in cloud under Moses. Yep. You know, I, so I made your it's, it's obvious, man. You have a question? No. Um, well, less of a question, more of a predicament. Okay. So, what about Job? What about Job? What think is that? How can a God <laughs> who is all good and all knowing and all powerful be such a mean right. guy to Job? Right. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, Job is there doing all the things that he's supposed to do, mm -hmm. yet he loses children. He loses all the things that he has worked for in his life. Mm -hmm. He loses. Vanity, everything. He loses all. Even though he was exactly, he was doing exactly what he was supposed to do. Okay. How can you then explain the fact that God made a bet with the devil several times? I got a scripture right here for you. On on the on the sake of the Job. book of Deuteronomy I mean, like, chapter no, 32 well, well, and 39. Well, hang on on, on, on the See soul. now that I, Listen. even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Now that's the most high said that. Yeah, okay, fine. What the that's fuck right. does that have to do you with understand Job? It? He just said, I kill. Anything happens. I don't know he, what he that has to do with Job. He sanctioned it. Job, go, he, he, go to he Job. He sanctioned it. Go to Job. When anything happened to bad to anybody what, out here, the Most High sanctioned it. What, are you just going like, to... I'm just telling you. Go to Job. Look at you what Job... You can't tell me nothing else. What I believe, bro, in the scripture. You can say you, can you believe... You can sit here and talk until you read right. in the face. Listen, you do that. But, that. Go but, to Job. But I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Go to Job and read it from the beginning. I know Job. So what happened? Wait, wait, wait. So what happened at the end? You talking about what happened to him? Yeah. He nah. restored him, just what I just nah. said. The Most High restored him, just what yeah. he what happened at the end. He restored yeah. him. He, he, he restored you know, him. You, you, these guys, you just read the first chapter, and then you, you get messed up, put the book down. Well, you don't know how to read the, you didn't read the whole thing. You're right. He restored him. You're right. I'm right. He yeah. did restore him. And after he, after he put him through, we're we restored him with more than after he, he put him through the most heinous right. obscene, horrible things any That's human like gold being tried in the fly, bro. That's what happened to <laughs> us. That's right. You are you are we the, went the worst. Most, we went the you most are the worst. worst. We went our, right. our ancestors. Jesus our ancestors right. went through the most thing that you will ever do. Our That's ancestors right. went through the most things ever. Imagine. That's right. As a human being. Yep. And now I'm telling you. I'm a good guy for doing it. 
That's Come right. Come on, man. Get That's real. the same thing happening to all these people on this side. Your right constitution here. doesn't count us as human beings. <laughs> <Mike> <laughs> right. What? Your okay. constitution doesn't count us as human beings. What constitution is that? The United States Constitution. That's right. My constitution originally counted you as three fifths. After the fucking 18th, 17th, century. There is no, there is no provision. There is. Name, right. name uh, the law that said that we that we were that we were citizens. Name one law that said that so-called black people in America were citizens. What? Well, the three-fifths counted you as human beings. Fuck one. Three-fifths. That fifth. got changed. Okay, so when was the ratification, bro? We need to know when did it change. Because it didn't You're change. Welcome. Now, See, these, these Edomites, we know the law better than they do. Right. So his old man saved them from getting freaking discombobulated. Because if the boy stood here long right. enough, he would have he would probably hung himself <laughs> on a tree. I mean, you, he already inebriated. Yeah, 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 yeah. He bro. already, he already tore he up. Been I can tore smell it on the road. You don't believe in the Most High. Uh, no, nah, he don't so believe. He would have been tore up that boy. Yeah. Would have went down the street mm -hmm. and would have been talking about killing himself. You can tell he don't believe in the Most High because he stood up here uh -huh. questioning. You can tell when he saw come up. Yeah, no. He saw had no. He saw a faithless person. His faith is in that sword, bro. You see that, bro? That if boy. He ain't got no, if mm -hmm. he ain't got the uh, the muscle to do anything, he ain't got nothing working for himself, bro. He gotta have that that sword on. Him. Yeah, cause see, even even in the midst of what he was saying, he even admitted, "Nah, I didn't read the end." So he don't even know what the latter end was for Joe. Come on, huh? He's blessed. The the, the begin the, the latter part was more blessed than the beginning. They just That's find right. any type of reason to uh to you know not believe in the Most High. Yeah, because yeah, it's not in their spirit. Yeah, they're right. trying to mm -hmm. come up against the word. The word is Yahweh Shai. They're already anti Christ. That's right. Mm -hmm. So they they're, naturally they're gonna come up against the word. Tomorrow he probably go. His his parents or his grandma or grandparents might call him to go to church. He go there. He gonna go. Yeah. He'll he'll get hung over and everything. He'll wake up, get to the service, and all that. And you know what? You just let that Edomite, you just let an Edomite continue to speak. That's right. You sh the thing mm -hmm. was, he was up there, you are the lowest of the low. So it gives you that mindset uh -huh. of what they got think about Jake. He got on his knees and put his hand low to the ground, stating what Jake is. Because the brother pointed at the at the sign and he basically came out and said, You are the lowest of the low. Yep. See now this this is another example to let you brothers and sisters know that these people don't give two dams about That's you. Right. Man. No. So don't worry about their opinion about you, man. Mm -hmm. uh, then he gonna say. See, yeah. that messes them up when they know you don't care about your, their opinion of you. Mm -hmm. Then he say that That's Constitution. That's messing them up more than anything. That Constitution made us a human by saying we, we, we three are three fifths. Three fifths. Why not five or five, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's right. right. Three and I guarantee he don't even know the law of that. No, he don't know the, the law, law of that. The law compromise. I guarantee he don't know that. No, he don't know that. And that's why I said, name the law that said that we were that we were equal to the so-called white man. There's no law. There's no law. The law was never instituted. That's why they could gun us down with impunity because we're properties of the state. Yep. It's, right. It's, yep. right. It, it's called uh, you have what's called manutorious manumission. Uh huh. There's um, another one. It's a, a 1669 law that basically was passed out there in Virginia that said you could kill your slave for right. any, any rebellion. That's, not. that's true. That's true. Right. That's true. That never was repealed. Mm -hmm. well, they got the law they got now. They could gun smoke Jacob, kill him, and then charge his friend with his murder. Yep. Oh. Woo! They together. They yep. gun Jake and the little buddy down, Woo! then charge his buddy with him up for murder. Yep. What kind of, what hey. kind of crap is that? And they bought the actions of you, of, of you of you and your friend led with you being alive. You your actions led to his murder, and you didn't even have no gun. It was the police that pulled the trigger and everything. You didn't shield him or nothing. He, he just decided to gun your friend down. Boy, you see how that you see how that spirit roll up in here, man. And look, man, look at they passed the law in Oklahoma, no permit carry, baby. You know what's about to come around? Just the, uh, have a gun. Yeah, just you can just have it open. Not a hey, open carry, no permit now. Straight wild wild west. You can wild wild west in there, man. You they're, wild, they're, they're trying to basically let these Edomites know. You see, they're trying to slowly retrain these Edomites to know that you could do what you was doing before. That's right. Like, see what happened in Oklahoma with those Jakes that got lynched was the, the reason why they got charged because they were slaughtered. Mm -hmm. They didn't do it the right way. Mm -hmm. They tried to sell self-defense, but what they should have done was, when they, after they killed them, called the cops. Say it was self-defense, you didn't have to go dismember their bodies. Right, mm -hmm. right. See, y'all went, when y'all went extra, y'all went too far, they had to go ahead and, they really charged you for stupidity. Yeah. yeah. They charged them for they stupidity were. more than anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. All they had to do was just kill them and then basically say, hey, listen, yep. you thought we heard a gun, you were three of our life, we had to stand our ground, and you would have been out like Zimmer. Uh-huh. And that story with this didn't even make no sense, though. Yeah. What you were, you turned around like, uh, what's that boy from the movies, Clint Eastwood? 
<laughs> like you already got your hammer cock, got your gun ready. As soon as you heard like a gun cock, you turn around and shoot. Mm -hmm. Now how's that? that? That don't even sound right. Yeah, it don't sound right at all. First of all, Jake coming around, his gun gonna be cocked already. For real. So he ain't, he ain't gonna give you the chance to even get to your weapon. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. You know, as soon as yeah, as soon as y'all pulled up, he would have had the he would have had the gun already pointed, just like that dude, the uh, Dominican Republic man, Wicked. Yeah. This dude, uh, he got into an accident. And he was awarded three million dollars in the accident. His baby mama, the mother of his own kids, set him up to be killed. Man, it was caught on video. This woman was came enough from a date. They pulled up. As soon as he pulled up, she get out of the car, and, and them dudes came through, shot him. Man. Had it all on tape. Own child's father. Her own, her own killed her own father of her own child. Over some money that she ain't gonna see. Nah, she got All three of them dudes got charged with murder. She got charged with murder too. Look at that. Screwed a whole, a hey, screwed a, a whole life up and the mother cat. Uh, shot her own self. That was, was money her man was red pot willing to get her anyway. He didn't discard her. She was still with him. Right. Probably gonna try to move her to America or something. Or live, in, live in Florida or something like that. Nah, she wanted to get the money and, and get rid of it. But uh, back to the matter at hand, man. Putting off the old man. I'm gonna read this in Romans 6, man, and then we gonna get on into something else. I, uh, yeah, now once I get through reading this, it's plain and simple. It's almost self-explanatory, man. Right. You know? This is Romans chapter 6. I'm going to just start at verse 3. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahweh were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. I can't help but re re substitute that word baptism in the scripture. That like as Hamashiach was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For we have been planted together in the likeness of his death. Mm -hmm. How is you planted together in the likeness of his death? We shall also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Mm -hmm. And that's putting off the old man, that's being baptized. Like I said earlier, it's, it's symbolic, man, of, of, of being laid to rest like our Lord and Savior was. When you lay in that water, it's symbolic of being laid to rest as he was. Mm -hmm. you're raised out of the water, you're being resurrected a new man. All yeah. your past sins has been put behind you. It's simple. I know it, it, it might not seem like it, it's that simple, but it is. You know? Yeah. I mean, for the carnal man can't understand spiritual things, so. Right. Mm -hmm. that's, just, that's a spiritual understanding. That's right. right. Because the thing about it is, the witness for them is man, not your house. Right. Yeah. So yeah. the event to them is they, they, they it has to be co-signed by man. Right. 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 For it to be real. Right. It can't be that your house is seeing that happen and then is is, is happy with it in the heavens. That's right. They can't right. see that. There's mm -hmm. a disconnect. Yeah. The disc that's really part of the disconnect. Mm -hmm. Because if man, if the man that they follow is not co-signing it, it has no bearing to them on their salvation. Right, right. He didn't know the fight. That's right. So to them, it it, it 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 moves it to a carnal thing, because it's only spiritual that came from their their top element. That's when it's spiritual. Right. Mm -hmm. When it comes from Yahweh, that's why I said he said, which one of you who seeketh who seeketh um, who seeketh one from another, but don't take it the counsel to come from God only. Mm -hmm. that's, right. You know. Yeah. So that's for them. They look at it like that. Right. They seek. They seek. They seek validation one from another. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. So how was I said? You seek. You go seek counsel one from another. They can't take the one that came from him. 
Yeah, yeah, you go, yeah, hey, somebody come in their own name, you'll believe them. Yep. You know? Yeah. He also stated that, right. he also stated that, that uh, he, he thanked the Father, he thanked Yahweh for, for revealing this, un, uh, not revealing it unto the wise and prudent, but unto babes, man. That's right. You know? And wise so, and prudent, you've been 30 something years reading scriptures, getting, Going through the Hebrew, going through the Greek, going through right. the encyclopedias. Right. You wise and prudent. You've been you, doing this for 30 something years, but right. he did it for right. That's right. So any of your any of your followers, that's what happened. Right. He hid it from y'all. He hid it, he hid it from your teacher. And you follow him, you got he's gonna hide it from you too. Right. Because you don't want to take heed to his words. Yeah. You're taking heed to the words of man who's actually coming against the doctrine. Yep. But we were not the change in the doctrine, and your elders were the change in the doctrine. Mm-hmm. Let's get in one more precept, man. So they say we ain't go pre up precept upon precept. It's Colossians chapter 2, verse 12. <laughs> Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of Yahweh, mm. who has raised him from the dead. Mm -hmm. So when you come out the water, you're being raised from the dead. Put that old man to death when you lay right. in the water. It's symbolic, man. And it's the operation of your Howard, like I just read. And you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, has he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Mm -hmm. I mean, Forgiving you all trespasses, man. So all that stuff you, you just hearing somebody tell you this one. Right. That's part of the reason why what you notice is that they'll say, they'll talk about when you, you know, when you woke up to the truth to be in Israelite, that's that's the gospel to them. Them guys do that in Israelite said they have the gospel. Right. Right. What were they so called? They, they already what, woken up. What, what, they already woke. What were those? What were those, huh? What's that called, huh? <laughs> What's that? Proselytes, man. Proselytes. Proselyte. <laughs> Right. They were proselytes, man. Them boys knew about the light. They were not disciples. Right. They were not disciples. It was proselytes right there, man. <laughs> knew that law. Knew to do the Passover and all that right. stuff, mm -hmm. man. But did not attain to the commandments of Yahweh through Yahweh right. Shai. Yeah. Yeah, we, start, right. we started on that red letter with the words of Yahweh Shai, man. He's telling you the, the doctrine that came from him is not his own, but him that said it. Right, that's right. Now I'm going to read this. This is John chapter 12 and verse 47. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejected me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Uh-oh, mm. uh-oh. That same word, man. Nope. Come back. Everybody talking about the word. The water is the word. And, uh, and Spirit is the word. And, and what's his word? Hold on, guys. What's his word? What you, how was I spoke? Everything is is the Mark word. Sixteen and sixteen. <laughs> That's red letter. He that believeth and is baptized uh -oh. shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned hey hey what if what if we take that baptism and put the word he that believeth and his word is <laughs> worded it's <laughs> worded it hey, on, man. man it don't work like that man it's baptism an is right an act come on bro. it's an and <laughs> now that means that according to their to some of these guys doctrine the new doctrine is now that you have to add or call Kodash to it. So that means anybody who didn't get that was already there. Yeah, right, 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 I, uh, man, hey. Hey, that's leaven. That's, that's how leaven works. It leavens up the whole lump. That's leaven, huh? That's yep. straight up leaven. That's leaven, man. Leaven starts tearing away the rest of the doctrine. Uh, yeah. Everything else falls right. apart with it. And that, that's, how, that's what they say. You tell one lie, you have to keep on telling it. You got to keep on telling it, yeah. Yep. Until that lie get bigger and bigger, and that's then, right. you know, all of a sudden, that thing just going to fall, bro. Fall from it. Truth gonna come out. Yahweh Shah talked about those people that built their, their houses upon sand, man. Yep, yep. Because as he said, he says uh, building on, upon his words is like building upon a rock. Yep. And when you don't do that, you don't have a stable foundation, man. You get swept away with the, with the wind. Yep. You, you know, you get a huff and a puff and blow your house down. That's right. You did? 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> That's right. And you can, you, because you can see God's talking about you got to be worthy, you got to be baptized worthy. I said the gospel is not on you, it's got to be in you. That's no different than, uh, that's, that's no different than, uh, than, uh, what you call it, man? I'm trying to think of the word. The heathens, man, what they be doing, I mean, like in the churches. Then the Christians, you know, different than the Christian belief. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as all you got to do is believe. Yep. Right, right, that's, right. That's the same and that's thing a they very preach. vague. That's the same thing they preach. And all you got to do is believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's why the fear is so heavy. Because think about it, all right. The fear of the worded aspect is your salvation is tied to you believing in a particular set of, in, 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 in a particular group, in a particular man. Mm -hmm. right? So by leaving that man, you're automatically fell out. Right. Because right. you didn't remain worded. Right, right. <laughs> It, it don't make sense. Don't make That's sense. why that fear of man is so heavy because you don't you, you have a very vague understanding of whether or not you are in the truth. Right. And y'all's doctrine is based on whether or not you stay in a particular group. Mm -hmm. If you're not in that group, you're not in the truth. It's funny because I was watching the um I went to my my, my personal page where I just I just usually just make comments for that page. I don't I don't I haven't uploaded videos I'm just on the main page. And I went back on there and I saw somebody had made a comment last year on a lesson that I did. And it was, a, I forgot what the name of the lesson was, but the dude was in, 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 that, in that other group. And the dude said, oh, this guy, he's a fallout. Fallout of what? Fallout of, I'm not no longer worded by your elder. Yeah. <laughs> Let me guess, was I a fallout before where Kwak Kodasha after? <laughs> what were y'all before with Quaqua Dosh? Y'all was in y'all was y'all wasn't even buried dead with him according to your doctor. <laughs> and risen up with him. That's right. Because y'all wasn't yet worded properly. That's right. Oh man. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey man, yeah, boy, you get caught in a mouse trap with that one. I'm boy. telling you, man. It hasn't been risen in your house shots like this. Hey man, man. that that's haven't been baptized. That's some serious stuff right there, man. With so y'all, none of y'all was baptized before the Park of Dosh now, man. Come on, bro. Oh man, that's it. God's bro. died, bro. Yeah. Dang. Didn't the old boy from Chicago, 19 years old, that was preaching in their camp, get yep. killed? Yep, yep. So you, your man didn't make it. Because he According didn't know. To your doctor, he didn't get baptized properly because he was a Park with Dosh. Mm. Mm. Boy, that's serious, bro. That's serious, right there. Right? That's serious, man. But he died doing the work, though. Man. Like y'all say. He, he died doing the work because he was with y'all still. That's why. If another man died and was still teaching without y'all, he didn't die doing the work. He died because he died because he was a wicked nigga. He didn't want to give your, your elder 10%. Man, you know what? If you if you in there, man, you really got to sit. Just sit back one day in the quiet and just think about that. Yeah. And just be like, man, yeah. Man, so what happened to them dudes that didn't have a real quack or die? Yeah, you gotta start asking yourself these questions, man. Don't be don't be gullible, McKnight. Think the fly, think. <laughs> man. You gotta we gotta start asking yourself questions, man. You know, you don't wanna we're we're trying to help you understand. Your man, your, your, what you're being taught, man, is not going to give you everlasting salvation. You don't even have a chance. You don't have a snowball's chance in hell to make yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Without, without going through this process, man. He said you cannot enter, man. Yep. Those words That's are right. definitive, man. It came from the Father. Yeah. The words right. that Yahweh Shah spoke came from Yahweh, man. Nothing else, bro. Right. right, right. He said it. He said the doctrine is not mine. It's not but, my but own. He but he didn't send me. Yep, That's, That's right. right. Are you going up against him, you got to sit down at the round table and say, I mean, you got to, there is no counsel against Yahweh, man. Woo! Nine. Yeah. How you going to come through and try to tell him that his way is is, is wrong? Can and yours it. is right. You're going to go and nullify and take away from his word. Hey, man, that's automatic damnation right there. Come on, bro. And all you guys that followed him, don't sit there and think, oh, that was on him, man, you know. We were just following the elder. No, oh, man, it tells you. It tells you. Yeah, it, it, following out a multitude to do evil, man. Exactly. That's it. He says it. He says uh, uh, also as well that he's going to also judge those, him that believeth and maketh a law. Right, right. So you get the same judgment as the one that made, that the, made the law mm -hmm. for believing it. Right. You know? Yep.
and calling himself teachers. Him that loveth and maketh the lie. You got a lot of line makers right now. A lot of people making lies and getting guys, uh, you know, hit with the uh, Resident Evil virus. Turn it, you know? And that's dangerous, man. We got to be very careful, like, the doctrines you bring out, man, and make sure it's not against the, the, against this. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a burden to being a teacher. There's a, uh, you, every, you see, those that will, are not going to be an evangelist, teacher, prophet, or apostle, they don't have, they're not going to be judged at the same level as right. those that taught. Right, right. So you can't afford to try and be out there and look wise before men and yeah. basically look like a fool before you holler. That's yeah, that's right. right. Right, that's right. Yeah. Start telling guys that man, you know, the officer you know, was, was there, man. See, they went up to the Euphrates the other way, you see. Hey, they yeah. walked up over to Turkey on the modern day yeah. Air, Armenia, our rock. Yeah, yeah. They, they went from there. They they walked over to Bering Strait. Man, oh man. It's time to move on to perfection. Oh boy, hey, amen. Yeah, that's why we're telling them, brothers, yeah, the the, the the aspects of the law of the of the gospel to, to, to build your foundation on. When you don't do that, man, you start getting tossed to and fro by everyone that's in the right. doctrine because you that's don't right. got a sure foundation. That's that's, right. that's true right there. You, that's lean, you know, you ain't standing still. You're leaning like the Tower of Pisa in Paris, man. Going you just, like a ribbon tied on the, on the antenna of a car. Yeah. 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 Whipping everywhere. Mm-hmm. And Satan just coming with another doctor. Right. Right. You know, Paris straight. Freaking Vatican. You're like damn, you're like every week you just toss two and four. That's what happened when you kick against the pricks, though, man. It's just like dang, bro, you ain't stable at all. The guys watching, like man, I'm getting beat. But a younger person might not understand that they're being fed a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh -huh. All that stuff is just true to them. Yeah. So you gonna have your cheerleaders, man. I couldn't believe a whole camp. Though. I was like, somebody got to come up against it, man. But you know what it was? Somebody didn't believe, but you got men that were 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 iffy about it. But what happened was they didn't they didn't have the they didn't want to stay and say you know what I'm not down with this they mm -hmm. they were subscribing to group think like they went on and gave their neck man, up and they said he'll bite me look they went on and gave their neck up say he'll bite yeah. me yeah. and that was it they got uh there ain't no way all y'all believe that off, off, off the rip bro there ain't no way I can't believe there's I can't too much change in doctrine to, to happen like that and too much, too much change, change too fast right right too much change and too fast for that to happen for there's everybody to just go along with it. Yeah, it wasn't even subtle. It was consistent change. Yeah. That's Not right. like when some of these other guys, they sneak in doctrines. Right. And they, 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 they slide it in by the cunning craftiness of men. They know how to slide it in and, and lull you into that arena. And then you and then they, they hook you in. Right, right. So this stuff was just like complete, utter revamping of everything. To the point, your boy took down all videos. That should show you something. Yeah. Y'all gotta go back over everything which should be the first oracle on principles of Yahweh, man. Yeah, you know? Faith in, in the carnal man, man. That's, that's what that is. Faith in the carnal man. You know, and, and we're trying to say, we're trying to help you brothers see, man. So you brothers do see. You know, we get emails, we get comments, and brothers are seeing, you know, the true aspects of, like, right. man, you know what, man, that's true. Right, right. Well, that makes sense, man. That, that, that scripture right there cut me, man. Red letter. Right, right, right. Damn, man, I was, I'm convicted. Uh huh. I gotta get baptized. I gotta do, you know. It's like, dang, I gotta do that. Yeah, cause that spirit will convict you, man. You start reading them words in there, man, and you start, you know, That's you know. That's right. And it, it ain't no mystery behind some of this stuff, man. It's just, it's simple, man. Oh. I mean, they make it seem like it's a big mystery. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, oh, baptism is the, is, the, is, the, is the, you got to read this doctrine, but the book don't say that. Right, right. The book don't say that. No way in the book does it say that. Well, I don't. I don't understand. That's a massively orchestrated plan, man. I mean, and look how many guys in them fell hook, line, and sinker for. Uh -huh. I mean, it, you think Yahweh shot on one of his people to make it into the kingdom? You know? Yeah. What did Yahweh say? Yahweh shot said, "It is your father's good pleasure." That's right. Didn't inherit the kingdom. Fear not, little flock. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why it's simple. Mm -hmm. He wants to get it, but we know he's wanting to. He's going to blind us up, saying people. But those of y'all that are hearing what we're saying, 
like you know what you, you know he wants you to probably get it man he's like yep yep you know he said it in his own words but you still ignore his own words though man yep. if, he, if he was telling you <laughs> to read the bible and and uh do his commandments he would have said that because he say that in, in, in plenty of scriptures but he said be baptized yep. like he was he ain't telling you to do something that he ain't already done. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. John, John told you in, in the book of John, he said, man, he that sent me to baptize, man. Who was that he? That was Jehovah, man. He told him to do it. That was a commandment, man. And everybody that got put in that water, that was, that was by faith. That was it. That's what it was. That was faith. That was an act of faith right That's there, exactly man. That's exactly what it was. So they took heed to the commandment. That's what they did. Yeah, and they're actually showing a, a, a lot of them showing a, a lack of faith by not getting in that water. Yeah. You don't believe that Yahweh Shai gonna that die for your sins if you're not getting in that water. Okay. IUIC always talking about the commandments right. and the laws, commandments and laws, but yet and still they talking about hey, no, baptism is the word. Yeah, because Israel believes that they can save themselves. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Cause they they they're believe that they can, they can they can just speak. And they and all they sins is forgiven. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, that's why it says you need that those that want to come to the light so their deeds be made manifest in the rock in your house. They don't come to the light because they don't because they know that their deeds are evil. You're right, right. Because I, I guarantee you that a lot of them brothers, man, outside clothing, you know, outside of being on the block, they're not willing to tell you what you do, what they do, when they outside this camera, man. Cause we know some cats that do stuff that's contrary to what the scriptures say. That's right. You think they'll come on the camera and be like, hey, hey man, we do this, that, and the other. Nah, they ain't gonna tell you that, man. If you ashamed to say what you do on the, on the camera, man, that's more than likely that's not right. not according to the commandment of the Heavenly Father, man. But you then you'll condemn, a, you'll condemn brothers that in your, in, your, in, your, in your circle away from the camera for, right. the, for the thing, for him saying, hey, I don't like this. This right. is not good. Uh -huh. In front of the camera, you want to admit it. Right, right. But then that, that guy, he's an he wouldn't let me have my woman in the living room while he was uh, cooking breakfast. Or well, whatever. I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah, right, home, right, right. If you hey, still just like, that, just if like an example. Truth, you know? If you're still in this truth and, and still like smoking weed, eating weed, whatever you do it, and used to do that before you came in the truth, you ain't put out that old man, bro. You know? And, and, and no kind of sense of way. First of all, you ain't put it off if you ain't been baptized. Well, so they, they, their leaders put the, try and put, uh, keep them in the old men. Right. <laughs> right. You know? A lot of times the old man don't be on you, be in you. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> right. They don't be on yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's, uh -huh. right. That's yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get, because it tells you the greatest heat is inside of me, the heat is in the world. When someone gets into this, you're gonna be having the ability to, um, to resist and fight uh -huh. against the flesh in, uh, in the, uh, other arenas and other those things you're gonna be uh, snowballing, them, right? Manifesting more and more in the flesh, right? Right? Than right? Right? Up a fight against it and overcoming it, putting to death the deeds of the flesh. That's why. That's why you have a shot. Say, occupy till I come. Uh -huh. so you're gonna be digging into these scriptures, but you have to have that solid foundation so that you can endure unto the end, man. Yeah. That's a, that's a bold act, bro, getting baptized in that water. Because you know, you know, it, it really, you can mess up after that, but you, it, it's going to make you walk a tight rope. Yeah. yeah it's gonna you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. going to make you, yeah, everything you do, if you do it, you, you're going to be convicted if you know you're doing something wrong. Right, right. But without it, you're not convicted. That's right. Right, right, right. Because that, that, and that's the reason why someone can feel comfortable pushing uh -huh. uh, okay. certain doctors, because there's no conviction. Right, right, right. There's no right. conviction. I, I just made a you know, I make up a make up a doctrine and know it's a yeah, lie, but it's gonna yeah. get these guys. Or we make this doctrine to say these guys can do X, Y, Z because I want to do it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna let them do it too. It's, it is what it is. Oh, you want to smoke weed? Okay. You can almost yeah. count your sins after baptism. You can almost count your sins. <laughs> right, right. And, and and know what you're gonna be accounted for. Oh, uh, that's, that's right. Cause you know you got right. the clean slate out with, bro. <laughs> that's right. You man. be like looking at that man. You like, oh snap, man. Let me yeah. go ahead and repent for this hill one right here. That's it, bro. Ain't no repenting if you ain't been baptized, right? Nope. Huh? Ain't no repentance. <laughs> ain't no repentance, man. Yeah, ain't no remission of sins. Yeah. Yep. Ain't no mediator. Ain't yep. no mediator for you. 
if, if you ain't been baptized. Yeah, you're still bound in your sins, meaning that That's you're right. still liable for all the judgment. You know what I'm saying? The judgment of, uh, of all those past iniquities and current iniquities. Yeah. So, the, 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 you already got all these all these charges against you. Mm -hmm. You got all these charges against you, that, you know? Whereas if you're, if you've been baptized, you've endured to the end, he could be like, you know what? I'm pardoning this man of these, these transgressions. Yeah, right, right. down to the joy of the divine Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You've been pardoned. Right. It's basically yeah. what you're receiving. You're receiving a pardon because because you've done crimes. You need a pardon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's just like the, the the president. He pardoned people for crimes they committed. Right. Right. Because right. it ain't that we didn't that, that uh, people didn't commit crimes. The difference is whether you're going to be convicted or whether right. you're going to be uh, pardoned. Right. Right. Because there is really a not guilty. You're guilty of those crimes, which is the reason why you need you need uh, forgiveness. Right. Mm -hmm. Because forgiveness applies if you did something wrong. Right. Right. You know. Not guilty means you didn't do that. Mm -hmm. So no, we're, and that's why it says and it says all have sinned, all have, have are guilty uh -huh. before you have it. Right, right. So that means if you're all guilty, you're either going to be convicted, receive a judgment, or you're going to receive a pardon. Right. Yeah. For those for those transgressions. For God and so that's right. God. Just put it into uh, legal terms. Into layman's terms for for uh, people that understand just common law. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to have someone beguile you of your salvation, man. Yeah. That's what guys are doing. They ain't gonna make it, then you ain't gonna make it with them because they ain't gonna make it anyway. Uh, since thou has rejected the counsel of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah. He have rejected thee. Yeah. yeah. He have rejected thee. You know, and, and the time we're in, it's just, you know, we're getting closer and closer to the very end. And, and, and each day approaches, they're building up World War III. It's going, you know, they're building up different things. Um, people on both sides are figuring out how to, you know, do economic um, hits. Right, right. You know, China's trying to figure out how we, are they going to weaken and destabilize the West. The West is figuring out how they're going to invade Iran. Uh -huh. You know, they're, they're figuring out all these things because they know that they're trying to set up exactly what right. they're trying to do, which is basically their new world order. That's right. Yep. So. If, we don't make if, 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 if when all hell break loose, all this whole coming back. You know, I was listening to a guy last night, and he was talking about, oh, you know, how about all these jakes is gonna be judged, but they gonna come back in their right mind because ultimately, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, dude, then why are you laboring, bro? Yeah, I, I don't exactly. get, I don't, I don't get yeah. why you laboring if you if, yeah. if you're gonna sit there top down and condemn the so-called two thirds, and then say they are gonna make it anyway, and they're yeah. gonna be in the kingdom in their right mind, and they're gonna they're gonna live forever. I seen one say that. Do said that he said that they're gonna be righteous forever. They're gonna be regenerated. Mm. If they're gonna be the righteous kingdom. forever. They can't die. Right, right, right. Say they're, they're gonna, gonna be eternal. regenerated in the kingdom. Come on, man. You out there laboring for nothing? Yep. You might well yeah. just go do what you gonna do. You gonna be regenerated in the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Israel anyway. Right. Cause that seems to be the 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 the, the card or pass that all the all that you need to get there. Well, the, oh, oh, I know I'm Israel and I do the laws. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get there anyway. That's what um the man in the book of John told you how I shot. He told me said I'm gonna I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna see the Abraham, you know. And yeah, nah, he, but he was boasting the flesh uh, like I'm right. seeing Abraham. But like, he's, I already got what I'm gonna get. Uh, but if you if if you were to see the Abraham, you would listen unto me. <laughs> yeah, you do his works. You do uh -huh. the works of Abraham. You were to see the Abraham, you do the works of Abraham. These are things you have to ask about because when you read about these, um, like how Paul was fearful and it was like, you know, I gotta endure it to the end. You know, I gotta, you know, um, discipline myself. Right, right. Is he doing it? Yeah, I'm basically saying he was doing that in vain. Right, right. It didn't right. make no sense. See, and that's why these, a lot of these guys have no understanding of judgment. Someone dies in Israel is. If someone dies inside their group, he dies for Yahweh, and Yahweh's gonna raise him up. If someone dies outside of their group, oh, outside brought judgment, it was wicked. Right, 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 right. That's that's that what, stuff don't make no sense. That's what they call baptism until Yahweh shot, right? Somebody dies in, in that group. Yep. Man. That, hey, man, you know what? That's a sad thing, too, bro. They don't, it, it's not adding thing. up and not making sense. That's a sad thing, too. Cause you just kind of consider that man, you so close, but you couldn't make it. You was right there, had the opportunity 
is to go into the water, get baptized, remission of sins. Well, they got to leave their group. Because see, if you were to perform praise for men rather than Yahweh, then you ain't gonna never go lead that group because guess what? You, you you knowing that you have to do this, you can't stay there. Yeah, you can't stay and there. And if you try to stay there, <laughs> well, well, if you try to stay there, you get the baptized and you and you and you try to stay there, yeah. you never believe to begin with. All right, right, right. You just had a little bit of fear on you, and the fear wasn't in you. You know? Yeah, because that spirit, that spirit, what man? Even before we was baptized, that thing was. It was just, a, it was, it was getting heavy, man. It was just too heavy. The stuff was just like, come on, man, what's this? What was that you say, I like, even in that point? He's like, man, am I crazy? <laughs> you start getting to a point, man, where you, you up there and you, in your mind, man, and you, you listening to these changes and stuff, man. You like, hold up, man. Yeah. Even if Everybody we still in there, we would have been gone by now with that, uh, with that new uh, addition doctrine added to the yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah, because they you save you, it's cut that yeah, immediately. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I got the video. I got to try to piece it together a certain way so to, to prepare for counters. We're gonna put a strong uh gonna put a strong straight left. Yeah. First and then, you know, we'll see what y'all reply with next and we'll have the counter ready. And they ain't no reply. Yeah. Really ain't. Can't. Ain't no reply, but you know they're gonna try. Even the lessons they done did on it with just and it really was self-incriminating. Yep. Because you're admitting that you didn't have to... You, now we got to refigure out when did you receive the truth of the gospel. Right. Because now you got to say from that time. Because the other stuff couldn't have been the full truth. That was 100% truth and then added something later. Mm. Woo! And then other groups, they continued on in their old One West doctrine that is holding salvation from the masses of the people, man. Brothers and sisters is actually actively seeking salvation, man. They like really in this. Right. People are really seeking, man. Yeah. You know, we had a brother came all this all the way from across the pond. Right, you know, right. He really, and he said he was in a group. And if you read the email, I don't know if y'all read it fully, but he said he was in a group and got kicked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what group he was in, but he got kicked out. And I guess for, for the belief in that. Yeah, I think mm. he might have had a discussion about baptism, and they they were like, "Nah, man, you need to move around with that." Right, right. You had to move around and leave. You found us preaching about baptism and the importance of it for our mission of sins. The brother said he just couldn't. He just couldn't get around in John three. Yeah, John, John three and five. five. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why that, 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 there's a method to the there's a method to the perceived madness. Right. That's why we go into that John three and five, man. I, it's every, heavy, man. I said I know because that joke is that's a cutter, man. <laughs> that's a box. It boxes someone in. So they, when they see that and they believe, they're like, man, if I'm a person of truth and I see this, I gotta, I gotta do this. Right, right. Yeah, you got to, you got to walk in that path, man. Yeah, that you look just like me, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm you, man. You look what? Back in the day. Oh. But yeah, man, it's like one of those things where it's just like, you don't believe in those words, man. And you, if you look at those words and you say, man, I believe in that word, but then you say, you know what, I'm not going to confess this word before these men. You, you're, you're ashamed, man. And yeah. said, it says, him that is ashamed of me and the gospel, him so the one of son of man, ashamed before him in the heavenly angels. Yep, yep. So he's going to be like, you're going to come through them clouds and be like, hey, man, I... Hey, man, gonna be like man hey hey hey, hey. you know how jake do he say hey man <laughs> right <laughs> that's how jake do man hey man dude he come up in there man because we don't know we don't know you know we're gonna see y'all with shot but man we don't know how, how he gonna handle with that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. you know or, or even do something comical with it hey man hey I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you, that's what might be comedy too. Bro. You know, it might be some comedy, <laughs> man. Because you know, you know remember, because you remember what he said in Proverbs. He said, "I will laugh at thy calamity." Yeah. You know, so you never know. It may be like, I don't know what to tell Everybody you. Everybody gonna get a different way of which they gonna get it. Yeah, man. Because so, it's gonna be supernatural. It's gonna be all happening in a, in a, in a 
in one fell suit. So it ain't like it's gonna be a, a million, a billion Israelites going up and waiting one by one for their peace. Right. It's gonna now, happen all at once. Like everybody gonna get their own peace first. Like dang, and one might be just like, hey, yeah, it's Tahar. Cause that's the Tahar said, Bahashim Rapadash. Dang. Bind them hand and foot, cast them to outer darkness. Dang. No. Another one might be like, wait, my, my name don't matter. <sighs> hey. Bring him hither, slay him before. Pick some 18, 12, 13 foot tall brother standing over you singing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the deep old voice. Yeah. Boys, hey, come hey, coming up, to that, coming up to that thug in the, in the group. Yeah. It's like, what up, Kim Folk? Man. Hey, like that boy uh, 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 on Black Panther. Yeah. What, what was the uh, uh, Buka? Mbaku. Mbaku. He was like, hoo, 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 hoo. Paul, 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 in the epistle to the Galatians, man, to the church in Galatia, he was talking about uh, the perverse doctrines, man. Yeah. Perverting the gospel. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Or preaching another gospel. Mm -hmm. And the man, and okay, God's, yeah, God's will say shot. that brothers right. is perverting the gospel by saying, hey, come on, man. Hey, dude, what did old boy say in New Jersey? That boy is just like, say we was leading the flock astray. Yeah. Come on, man. He said, yo, don't listen to these guys. So I guess the 12 the apostles astray. leading the flock astray. Yep. John was leading them astray. No, hey, but then go further back. Even Yahweh shot. Even Yahweh shot. Even Yahweh shot. Even Yahweh shot. Man, man that's serious right there. He was going off in Aelon uh, oh, uh, near Salem. Where there was a lot of water. He was telling his, he wasn't baptizing, but he was telling his disciples to baptize. Right. Who were disciples? Man, Who were disciples? Come on. Call Boy. yourself a disciple or what you call yourself? Well, wow. you guys, just, you guys got to wake up. We, yeah. say, we say it like this because Jake understands deliverance or stuff like this yeah. in a certain, right. it's got to be delivered a certain be, way for Jake. Gotta, right. Live. Uh, live. Sarcasm in it. They do. Yeah, yeah. That's how. That's how Jake. That's how Jake uh, understand, man. Uh -huh. Yeah. You just come regular with Jake. He ain't right. gonna get it, man. Yeah, yeah. You come regular with Jake. Jake will just be like, yeah. When you just really start showing him and showing the folly in it, and he be like, damn, man, you're right. Damn. I gotta really take into consideration that that would be kind of making me say how was going on to. Right, right, right. That's right. right. Yes. Cause man, I see he was doing this. He had to be. Apostle was doing this. Philip was doing this. Peter did this. Paul did this. That's some blind. That's some blindness, man. man. That's like, some blindness. You know, I don't. Yeah, I was shy. I spoke to Paul, and then Paul went getting that water right after that. Woo! Yeah. And I guess oh. Paul was going off. He said, all he did, all, according to their doctor, all, all they, and I used to do was say, brother, Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know you're Israelite, right? Hey, hey. Yeah, read this and study. You're Israelite, right? You know what? Do what it say. You know the Romans Esau. The Romans Esau. <laughs> read this. And then, do the, the chip. Do what he say. The chip. The chip. The chip. <laughs> and that's it. That should have been it, man. You ready? I know you read your name because you already talked to your house. Shot. Hey, man. Oh, so you got to read the scriptures in the name of Yahweh Shai. Right? Mm-hmm. Because that's being baptized in the name of Yahweh Shai. You got to read the scriptures in the, mm -hmm. in the name of Yahweh Shai. So before you read, you read in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yep. Okay. Oh, man. Damn. Yeah, it's it's, it's nice. He's doing too much, man. Yeah. He went and put his laid hands upon him. And took, yeah. yeah. And he, and, he, and he baptized him in the name of Yahweh Shai. Laid hands on him, which which is uh also in the, which is also in the in the principles of the doctrine. Laying on him hands and then what happened? Scales removed from his eyes. Mm -hmm. He going off, he going off. And boy healed that dude, he touched him hands, took him hands on him. Yeah. <laughs> Because the doctrine, man, once you eliminate one aspect, everything is off. Everything goes. Okay, so that means baptism is not there. That means that laying of hands is not right. That means that faith in the Most High is not right. Repentance unto the Most High is not right. Resurrection of the dead is not right. You know, so, you know, you're going, it's just going to snowball all the rest, man. Because you can't, if you take one aspect out, all of it is is off, bro. That's why if they don't if they don't understand that one aspect, 
they don't understand none of them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. that's right. That's right. That's right. The rest they understand the, none of them. Yeah, because they never even started. Right. Yeah. The rest right. of the doctrine, the, the rest of the red letter, you go to the Sermon on the Mount, you can't get it. You can't. Oh, man. That's, man. The parables, that, you can't get it. You can't get You won't be able to get it, man. I'll get into the Northern Kingdom. I can't take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't take it no more. Let's go into the Northern Kingdom. Hey, we go to Cinco de Mayo, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we, it's Cinco de Mayo today, man. It's a good race everywhere. Yeah. We know we are. Man. I'm telling you, you got to look at the folly. When you see it, you're going to start laughing at yourself. Right. You're going to be like, damn, I can't believe I was thinking like that. You know it's foggy over there. It's foggy, man. You got to do like this. Move your hand. Get some of that fog out the way. Or turn your high beams off. You know when you're in the car, you got yep. your high beams on. You can't see in the fog. Yep. Turn your high beams off. Put them on low beam. Yep. You know, one deep. Don't put your two bulbs on. Don't go too deep. Yep. You're going to get blinded, man. But it's, it's simple, man. It's the simplicity of the gospel, man. All right. It is so simple that a child can understand it. Yep. If, if a child would read this, read this, uh, that John 3. Oh, they would get it, man. They would get it. Yeah, yep, they would get they, it. They would see the example. If you show them an animated yeah. example of what Yahweh Shah did, they're going to be like, Daddy, I want right. to do that too. That's right. Then I got to get baptized? It was so damn simple, the Christian church got it, man. Mm -hmm. Right. It was that simple. Well, because, because, in, 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 in spiritual yeah. entities, even on the left and right hand side, they have aspects of baptism. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, that's right. You know? Yeah, they do. I, 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 I can tell you that uh, even with uh, Amalekites, they do what is called a mikvah bath. Mm -hmm. You jump into that water, and afterwards you have been, uh, you part of that peak, that cliff. Yeah, so initiation. Yeah. See, see what, what, what Yahweh Shai is doing is an initiation into his body. Mm -hmm. It's right. the baptism, man. Yep. It's an initiation, man. Look up the word initiation. It's a, it's a, it's a spirit. It's a ceremony. It's a spiritual right. ceremony. Mm -hmm. In order to be introduced into, initiate means, means beginning or starting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To ignite. The word ignite, initiate, eight, all the, start, yeah. the, the, all things to start or to kick off. That's right. So it makes sense, right? Yeah. You know, to, to beginning the process that there would have to be an event that would need to occur. And see, Jake, Jake then got to the point where, you know, because Jake was raised in the Christian church and he saw what was happening in the Christian church, now that he come to the knowledge of Israel, he like, nah, that's Christian right there. I remember that growing up. I ain't doing that. Although it's in the scriptures. Because Christianity hadn't duped and it didn't dupe everybody with just lies. They had to have some truth in that. Yep. To hook them in. So basically, Jake, what you're doing is uh, you rejecting that aspect of truth that's uh, you know most uh, pivotal for your salvation. Mm -hmm. Going to that secret of mile? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get into some Issachar. Let's see. Uh, got right, that. So you know, today is this, what they call Cinco de Mayo, which for one, there is no month called May. The month begins on the new moon. Sabbath is not based on any new. Yeah. Yeah, get on the yeah. Well, yeah, history around and you can get on oh, yeah. get on. So that single the Mayo is known as the fifth of May, which there is no such thing as the fifth of May. But this is based on uh, the, the Gregorian calendar. Yeah. And as it commemorates, this is from the Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. It says here Cinco de Mayo in Latin. In Spain, 5th of May. It's an annual celebration held on May 5th, the date observed to commemorate the um, Mexican army's unlikely victory over the French Empire at the Battle of Puebla right. on May 5th of 1862 under the leadership of Ignacio Zaragoza. Mm -hmm. She's crazy. No, so this is uh, about a, a battle that they had against the French. And it says it was, it was observed by Americans, Mexicans, and mixed nationalities. Which means people just in general that might just use it as a means to celebrate. Right. Now I guarantee you the average person that celebrates Cinco de Mayo does not know about the battle that was it was commemorating. Right. The Battle of Puebla. I guarantee you a so-called Mexican national 
most of them, unless they're historians of their people, they won't know. Yeah. But they go about celebrating it, not knowing what it was commemorating. Right, right. In addition, the Mexican army and the Mexican government is uh, was controlled by the descendants of, of the Spaniards. So now I'm gonna go further on. It says, huh? Well, we can. It says here the United States Cinco de Mayo has taken on a significance that is that beyond beyond that in Mexico. More popularity celebrated in the United States than Mexico. You're right, right, right. So in Mexico, they're not even really observing this. It's just one specific battle against the French. Um, the date has become associated with the celebration of Mexican American culture. There's reason why you see people wearing sombreros. They go and they eat ta uh, tacos and burritos and quesadillas and all that stuff. Uh huh. They have piñatas, margaritas, margaritas, margaritas. You'll find a lot of Edomites up here trying to uh, jump in on that thing. Actually, be making mockery of Jake. Yeah, but yeah. They want to put the sombreros on and all that stuff. They just had one pass a few minutes ago with a sombrero on, drunk. Right. That's mockery, man. Drunk yep. Mexican. Yep. And the reason why they added this thing, the reason why this thing became, if you go back about 40 years ago, 50 years ago, Cinco de Mayo wasn't a big celebration. Yeah. It was with the influx of people coming from Mexico that um, they had that Esau created a holiday for them. Because, see, right now you got Cinco de Mayo. When you get into the summertime, you're going to have um, the Puerto Rican Day Parade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, the Cubans get what's called, I think, Calle de Ocho on uh -huh. um, 8th Street. They have a celebration in, in Miami oh, for the Cubans. Yeah. I think it's called Calle Ocho over there in Miami. So that's uh -huh. for the people that come from Cuba. The Puerto Ricans get the Puerto Rican Day Parade. I've been in New York back in 97, no, I think 98. And during that time when we, when we were there, they had the Puerto Rican Day Parade. And so you see them come out with the Puerto Rican flags. And now that's actually um, spread out to other places. Now they got in Houston. When they had the Puerto Rican Day Parade, they actually have it in Houston too. Yeah. Dominicans have their own. I forgot what it's called. But then, then they have the Caribbeans. The Caribbeans have their own uh -huh. with a Caribbean festival. Um, usually it's around, um, what do you call it? Bacchanal. Bacchanal, yeah, yeah. Or Mardi Gras, around that time they usually have theirs. In fact, they have another one usually in the summertime too. Because I had some friends from the Bahamas, and I know around the summertime they have a big uh, carnival fest. So this is all built as distractions to just basically lull you to sleep more. It's part of the bread and service. And it just always seems to fall on a Saturday or something. Yeah, so yeah. I don't oh, know, man. It just seems to fall Friday, Saturday. Bro, it always has to be on yeah. a party day in a week. You know where they can it's do crazy that how it falls yeah. for them. That's right. That's right. There's something. Well, let's read this. It says, uh, this is uh, history of the holiday. I don't know if you read. Uh -uh, it says, according to a paper published by the UCLA Center of Study of Latino Health and Culture about the origin of the observance of Cinco de Mayo in the United States, the modern Americans' focus on that day first started in California in 1863 in response to the resistance to the French rule in Mexico, far up in the gold country town of Colombia. Mexican miners were so overjoyed at the news that they spontaneously fired off rifle shots and fireworks, sang patriotic songs, and made impromptu speeches. Mm -hmm. Now remember, that's our in Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Independence Day for them, I believe, is September 16th. Right. So this is just a, a random celebration of a one battle. Right. Against the French. Yep. Which, which, which was Span which is of Spaniard, Edomite controlled government going up against it's just like, imagine Jake celebrating mm -hmm. the uh, War of 1812 for Independence Day. Right, Which right. they do when they were, when they were like this Edomite said, three-fifths of a man. Yeah, right? yeah. But you guys will tell y'all you're still celebrating. That's the reason why, you know what, man, we just... Hey, man, you, man, you, you, you know what, you, you, you know, that, that's why you just, you, man, Jake, you, you let Jake know if he ain't grasping, you just move on. Yeah. You know, that's, that's basically how it come down to it. As long as you stay in this, man, you keep trying to beat that down Jake head, man. Jake gonna be like, he gonna make you look like a fool. Yep. Right. 
Yeah, it tells you when you argue with a fool, you become like you, you, you become, become like unto a fool. That's right. You, you know, yeah. uh, literally, you be like this. So, so just to get on you, you it's a Christ, man. You uh, man, you have a great heritage, man. You uh, but you you uh, applying certain uh. Yeah, read, read, read. This is a uh, First Chronicles. Good Lord, man, can you find? First Chronicles 12 and uh, is that at First Chronicles 12? Yeah, 30. Yeah, it says now this this is uh First Chronicles 12 and 32. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment, man. So this is this is a uh, um, you can find this out historically about your people, man. Yeah. Y'all were masters of time, man. Aztecas, y'all understood the times. Y'all knew how to read stars. Y'all knew had the calendar and everything. Y'all understood right. these things, man. This was a power that the Most High granted unto to your people, your tribe. And, uh, and for all you brothers who are talking about that, Issachar is not part of Israel, man. You going off, man? We got documented proof stating that they are, man. Yeah, that's right. And the brother got a book here. You can bring out. You bring bring the uh, Genesis 49. Oh, okay, yeah. Shoot, is there something in Genesis in uh, Deuteronomy 33 too? It brought, yeah, I think it's in. It's in both. There's something else as well. Yeah, I all think right. so. Let me get this uh, Genesis 49 real quick. It says uh, this is Genesis 49 and. Issachar, Genesis 49 and 14. Issachar is a strong, strong ass couching down between, between two burdens. And he saw that rest was good, and the land that it was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant unto tribute. Mm -hmm. You can kind of go in that. Yeah, so it's talking about how Issachar, what's his name, the Shashkar means he is hired. His name is even a nomen omen. When you go back into the time, of uh, even the, conqu of the conquistadors, you had what was called the encomienda, in which the Spanish put the, uh, them under slavery under the Spanish crown. It's called the encomienda. Okay, that was slavery of the um, of the natives of Mexico, primarily the Aztecs. Okay, and um, that was something that not only what happened then, but even till now, because it tells you what was going to follow you in the last days which you could consider from that time, the last days, when, when in that time of Esau's takeover. Right. And now, in the, they are um, the main people that are sought after for work. He is hired. Okay? They came here for work, and they put themselves to bear, to tribute, tribute, tribajo, the word tribute, Go back into the Latin, goes back to the word, you know, and the Latin and the Spanish go back to the word trabajo, which means to work. work. And when you give tribute, you're actually putting forth labor to give to uh, uh, an authority. Right, that's right. No? Yeah, they, they don't really have too much on that. On this part. No, they don't got too much on this part? Yeah. No, I'm a, no, they don't? What is it? Yeah, it said, this is Deuteronomy 33 and 18, and it says, And of Zebulon he said, Rejoice, Zebulon, in thy going out, and Issachar in thy tents. Okay, well, the reason why they named both of them back to back is they live right next to each other. Yep. When you go into um, the Mayans and Aztecs were neighboring each other. Yeah, yeah. And they had, um, what's it called, cross-cultural uh, uh, um, similarities to one another dwelling in that same Central American land. Right. You know? So, um, that's why they were named back to back with each other. It makes sense, too. Now, we're going to, uh, this is the book. The Origins of the American Indians See, by Lee Huddleston. It's got a glare on it. There right? you go. I got it right there. You got it? Yeah. This is published um, by the University of Texas. Mm -hmm. A big Times uh, University. Uh, in fact, one of the top research universities in the world, not just America. We're talking about probably top five. They got so much research 
going on over there. A lot of the research you see on CNN sometimes be coming from the University of Texas. Right. Okay. They ain't coming out no National Geographic book. I like I like the way the front of this book read right here in the preface. It says Origin of American Indians, European Concepts, 1492 through 1729. Got it? It was on the front cover. Oh, the yeah. same thing on the front? Oh. I got it. But it says European concepts, huh? Right. They're taking forth the information that they got when they talked to the natives, man. Right. So this is information that was before 12 tribes chart, brother. Right, right. All you guys come on, oh, y'all came up with it, oh, and oh, he just did it, he just made it a hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah, nah. We gonna read something for you, <laughs> for you scoffers, <laughs> okay? That, that, that was before the trail, before Aria, before One West, before 12 tribes chart, brother. Mm-hmm. Okay? Right. This is on page 88. I'm going to read it and I'm going to show it. Prove all things. Prove all things. Yep, that's right. See, so this is uh, here. In fact, it's multiple parts in here but that talk about Issachar, but, I want, but this is the one I want to highlight the most. This is on the 88th chap, 88th page of this book. It says, the only other writer this author found who accepted the Issachar variation of the 10 tri Lost Tribes theory was Balshazar, which is, come on, man. That name itself <laughs> just tells you. <laughs> yeah. That's a Babylonian yeah, name. Yeah, it's a Babylonian name, Balshazar, yeah. Okay, that's a nomen omen. <laughs> was Balthasar de Medina, this is a Spaniard, a conquistador. In his, chron in his Cronica de la Santa Provincia de San Diego de Mexico of 1682. So this is the chronicles of the Saint Province of San Diego of Mexico. Mm -hmm. This is a chronicle, meaning he's giving you a chronologically of a 1682 of the things he learned about. Although Medina thought the South Americans and Yucatans were descendants of the Gentile Aikan father of Ophir, meaning that initially they thought that they were heathen. Right. They were natural heathen. And they were not of the tribes of Israel. Right. That's what he's saying. But the but when you see here in quotations. The Mexicans mean the natives of Mexico, not all Mexicans, like conquistadors and some of those descendants of Spain, you know. <laughs> this, the Mexicans are originally of the ten tribes captured by Salmaneser. And where does that go to? That goes the, to Second Esther. And you read that Second Esther saw too. Yeah. Before I finish reading this, I'm going to read that and I'm going to finish it. Oh, you got the freaking what's it called too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gonna bring it out? I got it right here. Second edge. Oh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, second go, go and bring that out. And then, yeah. yeah. Oh man. I'm, oh yeah. Yeah, bring that out so we can. Then we're gonna finish the last sentence on this one. This is Second Ezra, uh, chapter thirteen, verse forty. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoner out of their own land into the time of Hosea the king, whom. Salmanasseh, the on. king of Assyria, led a way captive. Come now, on, this man was not reading Ezra. He was told by this, by the natives, that they left during the time of Chalmanasseh, the king of Assyria, bro. This is in quotations. I'm going to show you the quote when we're done reading it. Right, right. <laughs> and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river, for the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. For through the country there was a great way to go namely of a year and a half and the same region is called Aseret. Oh, which, which in the Jewish encyclopedia those them fake is them fake Jews they even said that Aseret is American. 
Right, 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 right. David said. Yep. Then dwelt they there until the latter time. Look at that, man. So that history right there, coming from the Bible to that historical reference from the University of Texas, validates, verifies, it's not just one source, that the natives of Mexico are Issaco. Right. Come on. Or Israelites from the tribe of Issaco. From the tribe of Issaco. This is written by a Spaniard in and you can 1682. Put it, put it, I'm, now, I'm going to finish reading this part. It says here, this is in quotations, the Mexicans are originally of the ten tribes captured by Salmaneser and of the family of Issachar, whom the Indians recognized as their special ancestor. Mm. Yeah, now, see, if you, you, see, see, see if you can see get see. That, that paragraph, the second to the last one. Let me get it right, go ahead. Let's see, let's see if you can focus it. Let me see. Second to the last paragraph. Yeah. Y'all can pause the video. Yeah, yeah. So y'all can re read it yourself. Page 88 of this book, you got it? Hold second it, one second. Paragraph. I got it, hold it, hold, hold it right there, I'm on it now. Got it? Yeah. All right. And now, since, we, since we're still on this Northern Tribe piece, we're going to get a, a quotation of the Shawnee Indians. This is coming from Ancient and Modern Britons, Volume 1, by David McRitchie. Got it? Yeah. All right. So this is coming on page 18 of Ancient and Modern Britons. It says, the Shawnees themselves who assert that, th that their forefathers were not indigenous but came across the ocean from which they know not in memory of which event they continue to celebrate a yearly sacrifice for their safe arrival. So now we have guys out here saying that, that the natives of this land actually walked over the Bering Strait. Mm. This is documented proof from the Shawnees in this book, and what was this written? This was written. Uh, uh, when is this? Because this is a this is a, a fascinating. This is a. I can't remember what. Show them the book. The book. The name of the book. Yeah, yeah. I think y'all already got it from the front. Oh, yeah. But uh, I mean, it's documented proof of about these about our people coming over here across the ocean and not going according to. The fallacy of yeah, Esau's remember, it's documented. called a Bering Strait theory. Theory. The, oh, great, See, Esau, great point. Esau, great Esau point. be messing y'all up with the words, man. Bering Strait it a theory. theory. That's right. That's right. I, that's good. Yeah, See, it's in, when that's Esau what I came say. over here and they were built, they, they came here and migrated here and, and took over the land. Yeah, that's not a theory. You're right. That's right. right. Uh -huh. They called the migration pattern of that a theory. A uh, theory. Right. Letting you know that it, they can, it's not definitively true. I got, right. the, I got that theory in the National Geographic book at my house, man. <laughs> right. That yeah. same theory. It's called the Bering Strait Theory. That's and right. I was, it was told to me that when I was in the fifth grade. They were, well, I they, remember. They, they like tried to say that the Native so American that Indians was uh, descendants of the, the, the Chinese, bro, I man. remember. Mongoloids. Like, bruh, I remember the book, bro. Fifth grade history book. I remember them having a the page with the Bering Strait. Right. With right. a paragraph on the Bering Strait theory, bro. Yeah. Lying to us. It's straight lies, bro. But when well, you don't make your Howard Shy your foundation, bro. Woo! Hey, that's what happens, bro. Sway in that wind. Nah, they, go yep. to, nah, they go to the dark ages. But that, hey, man, it's, it's that was a good find because that's random. Uh -huh. Right. Because that was mainly about the ancient Britons. Yeah. I mean, he had that information which shows you. He, had, he knows the connection between the two people. Yep, that's he right. knows the connection. That's right. They know. That's why. Why would they randomly put that in there? Out of nowhere. Why? That's why ancient Britons. Why yeah. would you put about, about the Shawnee Indians? About the Shawnee Indians. Yeah, yeah. Because you know they're the same people. They're the same people, bro. So he saw be he saw be outsmarting Jake, himself. man. He be outsmarting himself too. Yeah, he be outsmarting himself too. Yeah, yeah. because he, you know, he ain't want Jake to find that information. Yeah, yeah but he uses words to code it for. Us people that aren't enough. Uh -huh. That's why he called it a theory. Jake came through and said it's a fact. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. But then our own our own people are telling you how they got here and when they got here. Right. Right. By ocean, during the time of Shamanessa. <laughs> And man, it goes right with, Go with Second Edge. Second Edge 13, man. Dude didn't have that scripture on him. Yeah, he didn't have that scripture. He was just a historian. He, oh, Shaman, yeah. that's the king of Assyria? Right. He right. got a regular history book over there. That's right. Thanks for catching. That's right. Right, right, right. Trying to see, see, right, see. Way how he can get these Negroes away from this building. That's why he's going to look at 
Mexican kids. Same Edomites will love it. But look, look what he got on his back. He got a sombrero yeah. on his back. The same Edomites wear a sombrero, but then be talking about build the wall. Build yeah. the wall, but yeah. they're wearing a sombrero. That's, that, that's... Look at it, look, look. Nope. That's what I tell you, boy. Yeah. Yeah, boy, they'll come in and steal everybody's mm -hmm. culture, man. If you if you uh, if you don't know, yep, they will. That's just how they operate, man. Around here making mockery of them, man. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't wear that some went probably went out and bought it. Let, oh, he let, probably got it on his hanging on his wall with uh, Mexican artifacts. Shoot, mm -hmm. somebody probably selling them jokers, man, by a parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, over hate some bread for ten dollars. Right, right. Making money. God, they probably got that from the dollar store. Boy, if you was to let, if you was to let this, if this society was to go on, uh, 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 continue on, man, hey, you see Esau up here celebrating Juneteenth in Texas. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They'll be up here talking about. Especially you. if they main, make it, try and make it mainstream. Mm -hmm. Maybe then they come out through wearing blackface and, and wearing thug life fake tattoos. Uh huh. <laughs> Like they did, like they always do. That's what hey. they do when I was in Austin, man. Them Edomites hey. make fun of Jake all the time. And, and then, next thing you know, Tupac turned into an Edomite. They oh, change yeah. all, the, all the stars into Edomites after, after oh, yeah. a while, man. Yeah. You give it about three, four generations, man, all them stars will be Edomites, man. Yep. Hey, LeBron James, man, he was the coldest Edomite ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Michael Jordan, the coldest Edomite. Oh, CGI is a beast, so they'll make it happen. Yeah. Get rid of all the original copies. Oh. All the CGI flooded, flooded on the internet. Man. When you look up Michael Jordan, you can see the Edomite coming through just doing tomahawks. <laughs> right, right. Dunking on people. <laughs> and turn Craig Hilo into a, into a, <laughs> turn Craig Hilo into a Jake, have him over there crying. Looking like Harry, Wood, Harry you know? Wilson. <laughs> hey, turn that Jake, <laughs> hey, turn Craig Hilo oh into that Jake going, oh, Lord, this yeah. boy got us again. Because you saw how Hilo did when he did it. Yeah. He was like, oh. He was devastated. <laughs> that boy was sick, boy. That boy was sick, man. Cleveland used to, hey, the boys had some good battles in Cleveland. Yeah. But boy, that boy Elo was sick, man. That, that boy just wanted to go and get to, He said, man, somebody just load up the clip for me. I'm through. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff was unfair, bro. Yes. See, I look back, man. I'm a realist, man. You look back at that stuff. Uh -huh. That boy wasn't playing defense back then, bro. That boy before him was just looking at them boys and just, uh, get to the rack with ease. I mean, this guy, I got a freaking. What? He got a, he got a college, he got a, 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 a high school. What, what you talking about? What you talking about back then? Yeah, man. Hey, boys you boys can check, can keep up with that. Man, man, man. That boy LeBron got to get guarded by a six foot eleven Velociraptor and Kevin Durant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, long and can move like a like a like a Velociraptor. That's who he's guarding him. God <laughs> dang, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> All these people out here celebrating, they don't know. If you give them $100, say, I'll give you $100, you can name the battle that Chico de Mayo is commemorated. None of them will be able to answer it. No, they wouldn't be able to, they wouldn't be able to come into that. And who are, they, who are they fighting against? They wouldn't even know. That's why it's so important to get that history down packed, man, because then nobody... Because when you learn it, you be realize they be stupid. Yeah. Because then you got to go back and try to say, okay, what year was it? It was, 16, it was this year? Mm, man, what was the state of my people at that time? They gonna mm -hmm. make it. They gonna make my it. Grandpa was they gonna make it like it's not about that no more. Yeah. You know how they do about. Oh the, yeah, it's not about that no more. Yeah. It's about That's this. how they do about Christmas, Thanksgiving, yeah. and all that. Yeah. We're just celebrating Mexican culture. Yeah. That's what they'll say. Cause Jake always find a way to excuse they folly. He's all around here celebrating the real meaning of it. I ain't celebrating Independence Day. Slaughter them, man. I'm just, this is just yeah. a family get together. I ain't celebrating Thanksgiving. We just doing this as time for family to come yeah. together. Uh, yeah, I, I, right, man. That's what he saw be doing. He be celebrating the real meaning. Oh, yeah. How, how the Edomites came through and just decimated them. Yeah, we yeah. slaughtered them. Yeah, if you're a Spaniard Edomite from Monterey or something like that, yeah, yeah you celebrate single the mile to the T. Your grandfather probably fought and got money out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But but if you was a if you was a native, you probably was a, on the land tilling for some Spaniard. Yep. On 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 the long, on the Longoria Ranch. Yeah, no Spaniards. You know, out, out right. in South Texas, over there in Brownsville, uh -huh. out there in McAllen, before it was before it became Texas. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. King Rancher. The King. King, King Rancher. Do you know the you know where the King Ranch truck came from? Yeah, I know. You told me. Man. When I found that out, I was like, this is ridiculous, man. He saw making fun of people low key. Right. With that, when he made that King Ranch, man, everybody, man, I want that King Ranch making fun of y'all, man. Straight clowning. That boy was out there, that boy was out there killing Mexico. <laughs> you know? 
Man, boy. That boy had a big old ranch and them, 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 them Mexicans were encroaching. Man, they was, he was gunning them down, man. He got get killed over it. Uh, over that stuff. Like some of the natives that worked the land and then you had the Longoria Ranch, which is evil yeah, Longoria. Longoria. Yeah, yeah. And they used to battle. King, King and the Longorias used to battle over there in South Texas, which was at the time known as Mexico because it was before the uh, Mexican uh, before the, uh, independence. The uh, Texas man. War and all that stuff. Remember right. the Alamo, whatever you want to call it. Right, right. So, shoot, man. It's, I say, man. I mean, I, 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 all we can do is relay information to our people and uh, yeah. get y'all, hopefully y'all y'all hear it, man, and, and see that, man, the folly that's running through Israel right now. Know, all black meat, hey, all Israelites, all black, you know. And I, and, I, and I know where some of it is coming from. I know where some of it's coming from. It's coming from some aspects of tension. And let me tell you, some of the stuff that guys talking about, they need to be addressed. You know, as far as, you know, the hate that some of that um, other groups have against uh, so-called American Negro. Mm -hmm. We have to address that type of stuff too, because a lot of guys, see when that stuff is confronted to them, they're trying to sweep it under the rug, but it's like, nah, partner, it's always gonna be brought up, so you gotta find a way to combat it. Because for one, you gotta, you gotta find a way to, 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 to condemn some of those actions of hate. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, which is real. Mm -hmm. You know, shoot, I mean, I just put up an article the other day uh, the Mexico, uh, so-called Latino gang over there in um, in Boa Heights in East LA, right, was right. charged with a hate crime for firebombing, you know, homes of black. That wasn't even in no gang because there ain't no get black gang in Boa Heights. I, I've been to LA. I'm familiar with the territory. I got family in LA. Mm. So we're talking about firebombing innocent people, mainly just women and their kids, because it was a, it was a project. It was a project, and they had a couple of them move in there. They didn't know. And see, a lot of times what happens is a lot of our people, we don't want to be truthful in yep. warning people about the fact that this is a reality. If a brother, if a brother tells me he moving to LA, uh -huh. and I ask him where he moving to, and he tells me he moving to a place where I know there's so-called Mexicans that hate black people that will kill him off off a GP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because they're on that on that Nazism type stuff. Uh huh. I gotta let him know, bro. Don't move there. I say, man, tell you move over to Bo, Bo Heights, man. You might you might come back in a casket. Yeah, because you're fine. Because you guys are on some, on some Ku Klux Klan type stuff with our people yeah. that are over there. So that's what is part, because see, people are, this is real issues, real uh -huh. hate. Right. That a lot of people in other cities know about that Jake don't know about in other cities. Uh-huh. You over there in Atlanta, you you you, you get this, you, you, don't, you don't, you didn't experience that. So then someone from LA, from California, he sees them on the, he sees something on the chart, he's like, hell no. Right, right, right. And I understand because, dude, I've got family. Listen, my, my cousin, he's Papa. I'm not gonna say his name because people know. Him. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say his name because people know. Him. My cousin played football. He played basketball out there in LA. He's from, he's from, he's from South Central. He's everybody, everybody know him. Played ball. He's tall. He's dude, about six foot five, six foot six. People know him. If I say his name, people yeah. gonna know who he is. Yeah. He's from LA. When you're around that age group, you're gonna be like, I know who your cousin is. Right. He yeah. went to, a, um, he was driving. My, he's a big dude. Dude, like, tall, swole. Uh -huh. built, you know what I'm saying? Like, looked like he could handle somebody for real. Yeah. This dude was up in the area called the hills. Is a certain, there's certain areas, is, is, is a particular part where a lot of, uh, of so-called Mexicans stay. He happened to be driving around, and he made a wrong turn, and he had to go through like a dead end to make a U-turn around. When he turned up in there, these guys came out there immediately with bats attack, trying to uh, attack, attack them, right? Mm. They was calling them all kind of mayate, all that stuff. Let's keep it real. Y'all don't want to talk about this, but they, they was calling them all kind of different mayate, all that stuff. Didn't know him from anywhere. Right. But just because of how he, the, the, how he looked, they automatically was trying to get at him. They wasn't gonna, they wasn't gonna let him step out the, step out the suburban. On a one-on-one -on -one fade. Right. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it real. But where they were at, they, they're, we're, um, Judah's not over there. 
Mm. And when you get to some, see, Houston is different. You can be over here where a lot of Christ say, you still see a sprinkle of Judah over here. Yeah, right. You go right. to the southeast side. Uh -huh. You go to the southeast side, you, you cross a certain area, you be like, damn, I, I, all of a sudden I see some Judah activity. Over there, it ain't like that, man. You got areas where it's just 100% just nothing but whatever, and they hate with a freaking passion so called black people. And guess what? The people that don't bang, the people that don't bang, they, um, 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 what do you call it? They allow it. Yeah. Not only they allow it, they kind of like act like it's not there. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, oh, I don't think that's what it is. It had to be about something else because they're not allowed to snitch on the true operations of them gangs because they'll get caught up. Right, right. So they don't want to tell you the truth, so they'll let you go over there, think you cool over there, and they hurt you. Then you wind up getting. Then you, get, then you end up dead. Yep. Then all, all Esau gonna do, or the, or the, or the Spaniard cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gang related. Gang rela yeah, right, there you go. They're gonna say it's yeah, gang related when everybody know there ain't no Crips or Bloods ever in the history of LA in Bull Heights. But they'll tell you, oh, it's gang related, man. It was a gang related shooting. Drug deal went bad or gang related shooting. Listen, there's a guy. Man, there's a story about a guy. He was in a gang. He was a, uh, he was a so, he was a so called white dude. He was in a Hispanic gang. This dude killed, of all races, about 12 to 14 people. The cops refused to arrest him for years. And they had cases on him. They knew that he did it, but they never arrested him. They just let him just run him up because they thought it was fun. They yeah. thought it was fun to see this guy go around killing people, man. man. In fact, he even killed one of uh, Snoop Dogg's friends, allegedly, at, at a studio. They were r running out of studio over in that in that area, a music studio, and then one and and, the, and when they were leaving, they were waiting to kill to kill one of the guys. Corrupt was there. You can read about it. Corrupt was there. The guy came back. The, the, the guys were leaving the studio. They was waiting to, to, to try and kill one of them. He killed one of them. Mm. Oh. And all, all over some racial stuff. This is, has nothing to do with no gang beef because I know about gang politics in L.A. I have family in L.A. Yeah. If you're a '60s, if you're if you're a '60s West Side crip from the west side of 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 the ten, of of, ten, of the I-10, 110 freeway, you have no beef with anybody in, in far east L.A. You just don't. In the harbor area, you don't have no beef with them because you're not even in the same territory. Mm. Your gang politics ain't even matching. That's like you. That's like someone telling you that that uh, politics in America is affect, affects politics. Uh, the politics in in, uh, in Chile. Hell yeah. Chile's elections has nothing to do with what's going on here. So we do got to handle that, and, and, and it's something that okay. we have to be honest about when we talk about a day like this. We talk about the natives. We talk about the hatred, the enmity. We, uh, bring that up. What's that in? Uh, is that set up. That's Ephraim. It's, uh, Isaiah 11 and 11. You don't even see his call with the sun. I know. You don't even see him with it, man. Yeah, because it's, it's nothing to them. This is, he saw want to make fun, man. He about to. He is, man. It's amazing to see this stuff, bro. This is Isaiah 11 and 11. It should be there. Uh, 14. Like Ephraim should not affect Ephraim. Yeah, yeah, it's in 13. 13. Okay, so this is uh, Isaiah 11 and 13. It says, the in I'll start at 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. The northern kingdom envies the southern kingdom. It's, deep in, it's deeply ingrained that it happened even going back thousands of years ago. Right, right. So a lot of that hatred that is coming is, is envy. Just like yep. Esau hates Judah out of envy. Right, right. So a lot of times the hatred you can't even explain, but Esau was able to play a part in it. And he turned, he turned those, uh, he turned those, uh, those so-called Mexican gang gangs into Nazi groups, essentially. Right, When right. you go into the history of La, of, of La Emma, the Mexican Mafia, they had a guy named Pegleg, a straight-up Edomite. He was one of the founders. Oh, man. Look at that, boy. Dude was a straight-up uh, uh, Amalekite, Pol Polish so-called Jew. And up here running uh, And he uh, was one of the founders of La Emma, and then he instituted y'all's racial doctrine. He instituted that racial hatred doctrine, in fact, to the point where 
to the point that they get linked up with the Aryan Brotherhood who hate Mexicans. They linked up with them in the jail in order to take down Judah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, when you go into even further on, these dudes later on begin to shave their head, beginning like around the late, uh, in the 90s. Right. They begin to be skinheads, meaning they begin to shave their heads because before that time, they used to actually grow their hair out, Mexicans. In the yeah. 90s, when they, when, they, when they made it official that they wanted to be against, be fully suits, uh, across the board anti so-called black, that's when they started shaving their heads to show their bond with the Aryan nation. Man, that's that's crazy, man. That history. That's, is what, that's up, where bro. that shaved head comes from. That shaved head, that shaved head comes from that. <laughs> hey, you know, I got it? a shaved head story if you don't mind me sharing with you. What's your? Uh, you know, in World War One, uh, America recruited American Indians to fight war with them. That's true. And when? No, and, that's and an all war. Law, that's an all war stone, America. But let me let me get to my point. But part of that law was that they made the American Indians who had long hair shave their heads. I'm talking about that bald head. Yeah. You know what ended up happening? They lost all their hunting skills. It's a, it's a, it's a, there was a study on this. When they made the American Indians shave their long hair to hunt for, yeah. for their cause, yeah. the American Indians, they were, they were perplexed to say, they, they recruited American Indians because they had hunting skills because they were gatherers and hunters. They, right. they, they had senses right, right, they, right. You know, to, to, to see like other movement in, in places where people didn't see it. When they asked them to shave their head, they didn't have that sense anymore. So long story short, they did a study on this a, a, a long study, like mm -hmm. uh, several people said, when you shave your head, hair gives you another sense in your surroundings. And w there's no like yeah. exact you know principle about it, but it gives you another sense of feeling and, and space. Mm -hmm. And when they shaved the American Indians' heads to life for them, they realized that they were hurting these people by making them shave their head. It's something so simple, but it's something, it's something real important. Man, that's, a, that's some good stuff right you there. You know, it's really cool, dog. Like, it, it makes, you know, and everybody has their own causes and, and mm -hmm. things that drive them. And that was just so interesting. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. And hair matters. So I'm hey, like, it's yeah, deeper right, than yeah. that simplicity, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Than that, but to imagine that, like, you know, that we're people, we grow hair for a reason. Right, that's all yeah, I'm to get yeah, to. Yeah, 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 man. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. That's, that's, good. that's love, something, man. something, that, that's something Bro, to study. Cool to Google, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Much love, bro. All right, bro. Right. Hey, that's pretty interesting, right there, man. I, you know, you know, the Boy Scout was uh, part of the Boy Scout that had they had a, a, a Native American, right? And the Boy Scout to help them with this whole scouting thing, to develop all those skills. Oh yeah, yeah. When you look up the Boy Scout and their original founders, one of them they had. Um, you know, North American Indian, full blooded North American Indian, that was actually part of it that was going to give them all the skills that they had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the whole thing about Boy, yeah, Boy Scout. I grew up watching old westerns. Mm -hmm. And when yeah, you watch yeah. these old westerns, every time there was a, 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 a manhunt, when they trying to find somebody, they always had an Indian tracker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they had all their tracking skills. Mm -hmm. All the tracking with dogs, that came from them. Right. Tracking of dogs, tracking of, of scents and tracks, all those stuff, that's all part of warfare, man. Yep. Because they were the warrior tribe. You guys can't get around that, man. That's right. Yeah, because they don't have that, man, Esau doesn't have that skill, man. He always has to go through uh, an internal source to take yep. down his uh, enemy, man. That's right. And that's camouflage. Right. The guys wearing camouflage, camouflage came from the North American Indians. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. They was wearing bright red, bright red suits and bright blue uh, soldier uniforms. Uh huh. That has nothing to do with your salvation. What? What we talking about? We talking about man history. loving man too ain't gonna get no salvation either. What? Man loving man ain't gonna get no salvation either. I know that. Uh -huh. But that is the same thing. That's in the Bible. That, well, and what you, I just told you in the Bible wait, too. Wait, wait. But that's in the Bible. When you stand in front of, front of Jesus, this is that's a big nothing to do with it. Why I don't? How many gates they got to get in the kingdom of heaven? Nothing. How many gates they got in the kingdom of heaven? No one. They got twelve gates, and each one of these is oh, this, I, I these names on the gates. gates. No gates. No. I'm yeah, saying, saying, I ain't not. <laughs> they say gates. They got twelve well, gates. Well, that's go. nothing to do with they it. got twelve gates, and each gate, one gate is named Judah, one is Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, so Levi, 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 and that's and have a and keep it. What? God, God can raise up stone. What's your nationality? 
Spanish. Oh, you Spanish? Spanish? You might be a Spaniard, bro. You Spain. Uh, wait. You can steal it. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, still, oh, you can steal it? Or you, uh... Go ahead. Uh, Bosque. Abraham Bosque. country had to break up mm -hmm. stones. Yeah. So, when That's you right. stand in front of God, that has nothing to do with it. That's in that's biblical. Hey, well, what 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 do you? Hey, well, I tell you so, what. But what do you need for salvation? You said you said you're a Spanish, Spanish, you Spanish, Spanish, right? Spanish, yeah, from Spain. That has nothing to do with it. So so what 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 was uh so what do you think about the atrocities that were that happened to the Native American Indians on these lands? To the natives, that to the natives. Oh, yeah. See, see, see that, that? Hey, that, that's our point. That's our point. That's our point. You, 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 you there's no it. compassion. There's you no, have no compassion. There's no compassion to us. You don't care what happened to the natives. Why they got slaughtered? But for key stores. Are you? Are, he doesn't. Are, he doesn't. Are the law we're conquistador Spanish? He doesn't. Well, conquistador Spanish. You say he, he does not care. Uh, hey, okay. Uh, well, hey. We, See? That's how, that's, how we that's beautiful, man. And, 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 I mean, it, it, it validates every point. He does not care where you come from or whatever. This is his soul. Okay, okay. Hey. He's standing for the God. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? Let me read you a scripture right wrong. quick. Well, guess what? Guess what? Let me read you a scripture. Guess what? He does the, not care. Guess what? When it gets down. Let me read him this. This is Ecclesiastes. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be has already been, and God requires that which is but past. That's the Old Testament. So people, whatever you did in the past, whatever a, a group, a nation of people did to one nation of people, they gonna have to pay for what they did in that's the past. Right. That's right. I agree right. with that. That's right. But so that you just said, you just agree. You just agree with that. But, but, but <laughs> you're gonna stand in front of God. And I'm gonna meet you there. We doing this work, so he love what yeah, we doing. What right are you now. doing, bro? He love what we doing right here. Exactly. So go down the street and mosey on down and continue oh doing God. what you're doing. Hey, let, hey let, me, let me let me let me just drop let me just drop something. What the scripture say? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Teach. Tell me how you're in the tribe of this. Hey, it's just not what, hey, so hey, you don't care what hey. tribe your Lord and Savior, uh, hey, hey, well, he, our Lord know, and Savior, what tribe he was not, from. Not. And, and, uh, 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 he doesn't care. He doesn't care, right? right? I'm from, I'm from uh, Jesus' tribe. No, you're not. Jesus is from the so-called Jesus from the tribe of Judah. No. Yes, He's he from was. from the tribe man. of Judah. Unless. What you saying? He wasn't. He and hey. walk in the way of the Lord. Then yeah. you will hear your Hey man, eyes. hey, you know what? what? No, he don't even you, believe that. You man. know what? You you might want to oh Hey, you might want to go ahead and finish off your fire yeah. water yeah. Right, and uh keep on rolling, man. Keep rolling, bro. You got that fire water. This ain't for, for drink too. This ain't for you, bro. <laughs> this ain't hey, for no. you. That's not for me. Nah. <laughs> See, hey. Yeah, yeah, it's not for you. Because hey man. Jesus is not a Jesus is a hard ass. He's an austere man. That's right. He's a, Jesus is a hard ass. Right. Fucking ass. Coming back to yep. kill a lot yep. of people. That's right. He whipped, he whipped his ass for, for a tribe. What you no. mean? He, don't, he, he died, died for his people. people. He died for his people. He died for man. his people. Those who are on the tribe. Matthew, Matthew That's what the scripture tell you. He died for his people. Yeah. Yeah, and his people only. Yeah. Everybody it's is not his people. What's your point? Everybody is not his people. That's my point. Exactly. He only died oh for God. these people. Hey, Nobody's hey, 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 listen. So, you're telling me that the guy walking down the street that you think is not his people. That's right. Not everybody's his people. Right? Not everybody's his people. Not everybody's his people. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Bring out scriptures. This is uh, Matthew 15 and 24. Oh my God. Listen, listen, listen to this. Praise be to John. Listen to this. This is Matthew 20. Everybody ain't his people. This is Matthew. Yeah, this guy's a demon right here. This is Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. There you go right there. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What are you guys walking down the street that you think? Yeah, yeah bring out some more scriptures on, man, because this, this guy, us, this guy is uh, God's way. All those that's doing not what this book requires them to be doing. Yeah, but what if we, what if we was? This what might experience. not be for you. This what might not even concern you, bro. Yeah, yeah. This, this, Cause, cause, cause this if you book, was and understood yep. and felt the pain that the Native Americans went through, that the African Americans went through in this country, 
than you possibly could be. Oh my God. I'll be. Oh my but God. he has no sympathy. Yeah, man, yeah. That, man, that dude God, feel, so blind. That dude feel, man, that dude feel with, feel with that Cornelius, Corn, Cornelius has sympathy, but they say Cornelius was another, another name. No, it was, it was a heathen. A heathen oh don't have, heathen have, don't have no sympathy for us. Oh my God. The African Americans have nothing to Let do with white so. We are, we are the three are from the tribe of Judah. We fit the prophecies that said in Deuteronomy 28. We're not talking about we color. We're not talking about, we're not talking about color. He is our color. God. Look, right here, let me read the script. Matthew 1 color. and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, Jesus. A soul. And thou shalt call his color. name Jesus. For he shall save his people. Uh oh, that's, 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 that's but your body, right people, nothing to do with his people from their sins, man. Why you can't understand? That's, that's well, possessive. Your, well, your soul that's is possessive. Just, that's your You don't even look at me. Listen, man. <laughs> that's listen, your man. Yeah, listen, man. You just called. Soul. That's my God. Oh, that's you you just called the Messiah a hard ass. You? And you try to tell us about the scripture. Well, you, well, Mosey on down the road and go and drink your liquid courage, man. That way. Where your soul confronts. Jesus, I'm gonna be the you same color as him. him. Bro. No, you're not. I'm gonna be the same no. damn color no, as him. No, he's gonna be darker than him. No. How no. about that? No. 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 With woolly hey. hair. How about that? Hey. Be the same like color you said, hello, Milo, right? Show me that in this book. <laughs> Show me that in this book. He ain't no. Yeah. What your driver's license say? That. What you know, your driver's license say? There. I What's guarantee you, driver's license like say he a white man. Bro. And what, I guarantee you. What mine say? I guarantee you, driver's license say he a white man. It ain't gonna say the same damn thing. I, I guarantee you. Are you, are you telling hey, me he that? said color don't matter, but I guarantee you, pull out that yeah, driver's license. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pull your driver's license out. I bet yours gonna I say. I guarantee you, gonna say white. I'm black, Jesus, and I'm a tribe of Benjamin. Hey, That's hey. what it says in here, brother. You don't believe read it. though, man. We, we could read scriptures all day till we blew in the face. He believed yeah, that. He, he, he it don't matter, he, man. Don't, you don't believe. It don't matter, bro. Huh? You don't believe. So who goes to heaven and who goes to hell? Hey, your hey, body hey. or your soul? Hey, nothing. Wait. Hey, go, go, and read your, <laughs> go, and read, go and read your book and then you... Heaven's uh, up. Yeah, come back with some scriptures, man, and yeah. we'll, we'll talk to you. The Lord prayer okay. say heaven gonna body be, the kingdom of heaven gonna be right here on earth. That's where it's gonna be. So where does your soul go? What you mean? Your soul. Get this dude, what man. you mean where your soul go? Where does it go? I don't know. I'm gonna be right here on heaven in the kingdom of heaven on earth. This is Joel chapter two. Now and verse you saying when you die where your soul go? Yeah. Joel chapter two and verse twenty-seven. Back up to the Father. Like and you shall said. know that I am in the midst huh? of Israel. You're going to get judged under the sun. And I am the Yahweh, your God, right and right none on earth. else. But like Ecclesiastes my people shall say, never be ashamed. Who is the judge? Our God and none else, man. <laughs> you heard the scripture? No, you don't, you don't hear. He's a Satanist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know why? You know why I'm from Satan? Because I know who God is. You do? What's his name? What's his name? What's his what's name? name? There are many gods. What's his name? There's only one. Yeah, what's it's many name? gods though, but what's his name? There's only one. The scripture don't give tell you it's many gods. What, what, you don't what's even deserve his name? No, there's only one. Well, what's his name? What's his name? There's only one. What's his name, bro? There's only one. What's his name? There's only one. Huh? What did it say? The God of this world? You believe in God, believe in me. You talk yeah. about the God of this Wait, world, the, or you the, talk about the demons about believe Yahweh. in trouble. Yeah. yeah, the most high. Yeah. The demons you believe in God, right? Okay, because they got many gods. The scriptures speak of the God of this world. Who is that? Satan. So is you talking about Satan or are you talking about the most high God? The most high. Yahweh. And, 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 and God is not. <laughs> that what? boy done, not man. Judge. Man, this boy is through. It's gonna judge you by your soul. Oh, your soul. So your soul is 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 gonna get judged. Okay. I got you. Alright, you win. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, that boy is too Man. Man. On that note, we're going to close it down. Man, <laughs> golly. I'm going to We got four minutes left anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it, man. That man. Boy. Yeah, it's going to get worse and worse to stay out here. It's going to get worse. This girl, look at this girl with the leper's hair. Man, look at this dude, man. He this was walking with crazy. his boyfriend when he came. He, his boyfriend left him. That's why, that's why I, I told him first off the bat, men on men, love ain't going to get in the kingdom of heaven either. Matthew 26 and 6. Now, now, you, now you go over there and talk to the Edomites right there. Look, look, they spirit joint bonded. Yeah, <laughs> look, yeah. and they agreeing with them because they were spending that listening to the dialect the whole time right here. 
It's Matthew 26 and 6. Now when Yahweh Shai was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh Shai understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath brought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she had poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman have done be told for a memorial of her. And with that, we'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.